Today we're going to talk about insulation consistency in existing homes. Primarily walls, but we can have issues also in ceilings. So here we have a wall that has been patched up. We've actually fixed the insulation behind here, but we found this issue with the use of thermal imaging. Now, thermal imaging is an extremely useful tool because even though there may be insulation installed in this wall cavity, if insulation comes away from the plaster, the air barrier, then this insulation will not be working because air from outside can easily get around and bypass the insulation and come in contact with this surface. Let's open this up and have a look. Insulation consistency is important because it improves the structural integrity of your home. It improves the, or reduces the chances of localized mold forming in this area, improves heating and cooling, energy efficiency, and also improves soundproofing of your room. So what we've done in this house is we've actually gone around the home and we've checked to see where there are gaps in insulation around the whole home for the ceiling, but also for the walls. We'll cover the ceiling in another video in the future. But with walls in particular, if we're going to be retrofitting insulation after doing an audit of how consistent the insulation is, we really need to make sure that there is some strapping in place. We need to stop the insulation from having a capillary effect where when it might rain on the outside and this mortar will get wet from, from it getting absorbed into the insulation, that can cause some nasty issues with mold buildup inside your wall systems. So the other potential issue that can happen and from a thermal audit of a home, you can find potentially vermin living inside walls. Um, over time, spray in insulation, that's a fluffy material, or even bats can move away from the actual plaster or move away inside the wall and not be in contact with the plaster surface. Uh, with spraying insulation, with that fluff, in some circumstances it can drop through the bottom plate. Um, but this will happen over a period of time. It's good to keep on top of it and when that does occur, that you should remediate it. With these straps, We've used staples, but this is really tough hardwood. It's an old home. So we've just used a high quality air barrier tape. That's, an, that's also an option for putting the straps in so that the insulation does not come in contact with the wall. We're carefully putting this insulation in and making sure that it's cut exactly to shape and also filling in this void to the side, but also making sure that this insulation does not come in contact with the brick behind. We want this insulation to project a little bit so that when we put the plaster back that it will be abutted to the insulation. And the other critical thing is that we don't want to jam too much insulation inside this cavity where the insulation will be compressed because compressed insulation does not perform as well as fluffy insulation. 